it is a really hot day in Melbourne today, so you might hear noises coming from my mini air conditioner. Hello guys, so today we're going to be doing a video on the things that I love so far and the things that I've been exploring with and what I've enjoyed about it. So, um, so far I've been testing out different products and different things that I wanted to try. I've been testing out different things such as like clothing, foods, and beauty products and etc and many more so i'm here to show you all the stuff that i am currently using and the stuff that i enjoy so let's get started the first thing that i have on my list of my favorite beauty products is this lip balm and i got it from Woolworths I believe I remember that time I wanted to buy a a lip balm because I ran out of my previous one which is like the Burt's Bees I recently saw this product on TikTok and someone was like hey I would recommend everyone to buy this and I wanted to try it out because I was curious so I got this and so far I really like it because it makes my lips feel soft and I really like it. One of my favorite makeup products that I've been using would have to be this highlighter right here. It's from the brand Violette Fur? I think that Violette, I don't know. But it, yeah, and it's a universal highlighter. It gives you like a minimalist shine and it, it gives you like a nice glowy look. It's kind of perfect for like a summer look and I really like this and when you open it it looks like a lipstick almost but it's it's actually a highlighter and the coolest part about this packaging is on the top lid right here you have like this cool design it's very aesthetically pleasing it's like Pinterest worthy I have shampoo and I have conditioner and it's from the brand Akin and this shampoo and conditioner focuses more on the volume of the hair so if you want a bit of volume on your hair these two would go perfectly for you and I've been testing these two out so far my hair has been looking nice and my hair has been looking healthy and it has been feeling healthy so I'm enjoying these two and speaking of hair products I have this hair mask and it's very affordable it's sort of like a watermelon hair food it's a it's by Garnier it also focuses on volumizing the hair when you open it it smells nice it smells like watermelon and this is a very versatile hair product you could use this as a conditioner as a leave-in conditioner and also as a hair mask the last thing on the list of my favorite beauty products would have to be would have to be this ocean salt face and body scrub by lush it's so nice it keeps your skin smooth i like to use this right after i shave and it's really nice and the best thing about lush products is that they're vegan and cruelty free and it's nice to have and it's organic the very last thing on my list of favorite products beauty products would have to be this it's a hair oil that I like to use for like an extra shine and it makes it look really good it's from the brand L'Oreal Paris I got this from Woolworths as well it's pretty affordable compared to like many other hair oils like hair oils that are more high-end actually would probably be like a better quality but this actually gives you a better quality as well so yeah so moving on to scents and aromas i love this candle this is my favorite candle so far I 
got this from TK Maxx. When my cousin from Texas visited me, we both went to TK Maxx with my aunt and I got this. If you guys don't know me, I'm a Leo, so the label is Leo, so I decided to buy it. I think the scent is called Citrus Sage and the brand is called North Muse. And on the inside of the candle, it comes with these like cool little crystals. I don't know what crystal it is, but if you guys are experts with crystals, um, comment down below. So I've been testing out different sort of perfumes to see what scents do I like. And I've been using this perfume on the daily. It's a very nice, it has a very nice scent to it. It's like a matcha. I mean, the scent is technically called Matcha Meditation and it's from the brand Replica. It's really cool. And it comes in this really cool packaging. Well, this was originally my dad's and he said that he wasn't using it anymore. So he decided to offer me this perfume. It smells really good. I have this Gardenia essential oil. I don't remember where I got it from, but I think I got it from Werby Plaza. I usually like to put um, a few drops onto my like diffuser, especially if I'm having like a long day from uni and I want to, you know, relax in my room. This scent is really soothing, it, you know, it just makes you feel more relaxed. And it gives you like the ambience of being in like a garden full of like flowers. So, I have a couple of clothing items and accessories that I would like to show you and that I would like to show how I love the style. In my previous video, I showed you what's inside my bag and one of the items that was inside my bag was these sunglasses and i've been really loving the style of these sunglasses it's really cute i've been trying to find these particular shaped sunglasses and i finally found it it's been really 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 hot and sunny and this is really nice to have next i have this necklace right here i don't know what the brand is but my grandma from Indonesia she um, recently visited us during the holidays and she gave me this as like a gift for Christmas and it looks really cute and I I've been using this every day because it, it I don't know it's really it looks really cute and it's from my grandma so it, it adds in like a little extra right there. So I got this top from JJ's. It's, it's in this brown color and it comes with this, like the drawings of like three boots and it's shaped with like cool rhinestones and I really love it. And yeah, I really love this top. It's very cool and it's very stylish and I love the style. Speaking of summer and hot days, I have this short that I got from Uniqlo because when it's like a really, really hot day, you don't really want to wear like long pants and long sleeve shirts most of the time. So I like to wear sh these shorts and it's really nice. It comes in this like striped and it's like in this blue color. It goes well with a lot of things. Coming up next, we have this uh, long, like large size Levi's jean jacket. I really love this. I got it from like a, a thrift store in the Melbourne CBD as well. I love thrift stores in general. And I recently saw these types of jackets on Pinterest and I was like, I need to buy one of these and I finally found it and I've been using this um, most of the time on days when it's like sort of hot but then it's sort of like windy at the same time. This is really nice to have. Right at the moment I have two favorite books that I would like to show you guys. First I have The Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Chbosky. And I really love the story behind it and it talks about 
it's sort of like a coming of age story and I feel like most people can relate to Charlie who's the main character I don't want to spoil the story I want you guys to read it so yeah I believe that there's like a movie adaptation of of this like book and I believe that Emma Watson is starring in it and as we're getting into non-fiction one of my favorite non-fiction books would have to be uh, My Body by Emily Ratajkowski and it focuses on the exploration of feminism so I have a list of favorite songs I used to only have like one particular song that I like, but now I have like multiple. So yeah, um, if you want to see more of my favorite songs that I currently like to listen to, you can follow me on Spotify. Um, I'll link my Spotify down below. I like to mainly listen to EDM music. so. If some of you guys that are watching this, if some of you guys are into EDM music as well, uh, I would recommend these songs. <laughs> Moving on to movies, TV shows, podcasts. Um, I've been listening to this podcast and it's called the I'm Peaking Podcast and I found it, I originally found it on TikTok and it talks about rave culture, EDM music and DJs and they are these group of friends and they like to talk about um, their experiences with going to raves and their current favorite EDM music so if you're into EDM and raves I would highly recommend listening to their podcasts because they also like to interview DJs last week I started watching Blade Runner 2049 with like Ryan Gosling and Ana de Armas. I thought that it was a really interesting film and i've been into the whole cyberpunk dystopian genre i don't want to spoil the movie so i would highly recommend watching the film the next thing that i've been watching is a movie called in a relationship and it stars emma roberts and it talks about um these group of four people uh one that's like a new relationship and the other one is like long term it shows the two dynamics of these relationships and the last thing on my film list would have to be called the night is young and it's an indie film and it's based on these four groups of people they are on a night out and they decide to explore the nightlife in los angeles and what the nightlife is like in Los Angeles and I started watching this show it's called The Carrie Diaries and I've been watching it again and it's a spin-off to the show Sex in the City okay so my battery just died and it's gonna die soon again so I'm gonna have to be quick right here I have um, St. Ally uh, original iced coffee and I've been loving this it's um since it's summer I've been craving ice drinks I usually like to drink iced coffee once I just got out of bed so yeah it's really nice and it's really good and it's also really strong so if you want more energy I would highly recommend the two of my um, current foods that I love it would mostly be desserts so i've been enjoying mint chocolate chip ice cream it's really good um it takes me back to my childhood because i remember when i went to primary school we had this like um project where we have to like cook something and me and my group decided to make chocolate chip mint ice cream it's just so good the last one is a bit odd 
It's vanilla ice cream. I know it doesn't sound that weird, but I add some toppings that would make it seem really weird. I add olive oil, like a, a drizzle of olive oil. And I also like to add a sprinkle of salt. I originally found this recipe from a podcast and they did like an interview with Dua Lipa and Dua Lipa mentioned that she adds a little bit of olive oil and a little bit of sea salt and I tested it out and it's so good it, it's like I can't explain it, it makes the vanilla flavor of the ice cream taste more rich mmm it's so good <laughs> I just like to add a little bit of bonus. I One of the things that I also love is this heat pack. I got it from Kmart. And what I really love about it is if it's a really cold day, I like to heat this up on the microwave for about two minutes and it makes the heat pack warm and it's nice. It helps you fall asleep. And it also helps a lot with period cramps. Okay, so that is all of the stuff that I love and it's fun to show you guys all the stuff that i like and it's fun to share and yeah i hope you guys enjoy this video and i'll see you guys next week bye